All right, in this module we're going to talk about linear interpolation, particularly as it relates to interpolation of values in the steam tables. Now I've got a clip from the ASME steam tables here, and let's just go ahead and see if we can find a saturation temperature for a pressure of 245 kilopascals. We have 240 kilopascals, 260 kilopascals, but we have no tabulated value for 245. We know it's going to be somewhere between 126.09 and 128.73, but we don't know right where. What we're going to do is we're going to assume that the relationship, at least over that short distance, is a linear relationship. And so we have two pressure values, one at 240 and one at 260, and we're looking for 245. We have some known values. We have a temperature of 126.07, sorry, 09. And we have another known temperature of 128.73. And if we're assuming a linear relationship, we will just simply draw a straight line between those two. Now, how do I figure out what my value of T sat is? or my saturation temperature for that pressure of 245. Well, I know that the point should lie on that straight line. And if I remember my relationships about straight lines, I know that the key to figuring out this point is going to be knowing the slope of that line. So let me first calculate the slope of the line. And you should recall that the slope of the line is equal to the rise divided by the run. And so in this case, what is the rise? Well, the rise is going to be 128.73 minus 126.09. That's how far the graph went up. And what is the run? Well, the run is going to be the distance along, which is 260 minus 240. And if I do that math, I get 2.69 divided by 20, or my slope is equal to 0.132. Now what does it mean if I have a slope of 0.132? Well, since by definition my slope is rise over run, then that means that for every one that I come along the x-axis, I will move up 0.132 on the y. Knowing that relationship, I now can say, well, if I'm looking for my delta y value, or the change in y value here, I know that that is going to be 0.132 times delta x, or the change in x value here. Well, I know my delta x in this case is 245 minus 240, and so my delta y is going to equal 0.132 times 5, or in this case, 0 0.66. If that is my delta y, then to find my actual T sat, my T sat is going to be 126.09 plus 0.66, or in this case, 126.75 degrees C. Now, I'm always going to do my acid test. I'm going to take a look at the 1.5 and make sure that it's in between these two values. If I've done something wrong with my math, I'll wind up either below 126 or above 128. And if I've done my math correctly, I should wind up nicely in between those two values. So that would be how we find that for uh, a, a saturation temperature. Let's look at specific volume for a moment. With a specific volume, I have, if again, if I'm looking for 245, if I'm looking for 245, I have a 0.7465 as my VG for 240 and 0.6925 as my VG for 260. Let's just graph that out for a second and see what that looks like. If I do that, once again I have 240 and 260 and in this case I'm looking for 245 and I now have two different volumes. I have 0.7465 meters cubed per kilogram, and I have 
0.6925. The only difference is that the 0.6925 is now at 260 kilopascals, and the 0.7465 is at 240 kilopascals. And notice that my line now runs the other way. What does that mean? It has a negative slope. There's a negative relationship between those two. But don't let that freak you out because the math will help us through. Once again, first thing we have to do is find the slope of the line. And it's going to equal the rise over the run. And in this case, the rise over the run is going to be 0.6925 minus 0.7465. And the run is going to be 260 minus 240. Notice that my 260 is the value for 6925. My 240 is the value for 7465. I can't mix these up to make this positive on top. I'm going to wind up with a negative number, of course, because I know it's a negative slope. I'm going to wind up with 0 0.054 over 20, or in this case, minus 0 0.0 Zero two seven. Sorry, that's a negative number. Zero zero two seven. Once again, that's the slope of my line, and so that being the slope of my line, I know that the distance that I move here, delta x, multiplied by that slope, is going to be my delta y. So delta y is equal to minus point zero zero two seven times delta x and delta x is once again 5 and so I come up with an answer of minus point zero one three five. again it's a negative number delta y is going to be the distance from here down to here how do I know it's from there well this is my value at that x and I'm moving away from it and so I'm moving down the line and so what I'm going to find is that is that my uh, volume V G is going to be equal to 0.7465 minus 0 0.0135 and that is going to equal uh, 0 0.733 once again I want to do my acid test is that value in between the two values I used in my chart. And yes, indeed, it's 7465. It's smaller than 7465. It's larger than 6925. And if I draw this diagram, I can see that this is the value that I should be, 0.733. And that is simply linear interpolation as it relates to steam tables.